Welcome to your CTF prep. So this is designed for beginners who've never participated in a Capture the Flag event before. So a CTF is a Capture the Flag. It was typically used for sports and for military and people have applied it to computer security, right? So it's an, it's an exercise where we have some sort of contest of computer security related things that we have to do. It can be reverse engineering uh, related. It could be malware analysis related. It can be exploit development related. It can be web application hacking related. It can be system administration related. It can be programming related. I played in that DEF CON CTF, I don't know, maybe four, four or five times. So my exposure to hacking and learning hacking was from these CTFs. Um, it's honestly how I learned. And what I always tell people was, I learned more in a weekend playing of a CTF than I would learn the whole year. So there's just nothing like it. An event like this, you, you, you end up learning so much, you just can't put into words just how much you learn. And I actually got kind of addicted to them. It was, for me, it was just like the ultimate. So the first style of Capture the Flag is what's called a Jeopardy style Capture the Flag. So let's say you get invited to participate in a capture the flag and you jump in and they start making it literally like the game Jeopardy. So you'll have hacker trivia that they'll ask you questions on programming type questions, protocol type questions. So where someone said, can you name all the flags in a standard TCP header, sin, fin, erg, right, sin, ack, reset, these are all the flags in a standard TCP header, right? So that will be an example of a Jeopardy style CTF question, right? So they're fun. They might ask you about how encryption algorithms work and they might give you an encryption cipher that you have to reverse engineer or decode, right? So those are fun. The next type of game is an attack and defense game. So in an attack and defense style CTF, you connect to a lab network and on this lab network, you're usually given servers that you have to defend. So what will happen is someone will give you a server that is intentionally vulnerable and you have to defend this server. So teams attack your server and while these teams attack your server, you're defending your server. While defending your server, you also have to attack the other team's servers. I love these types of games. This is what, for me, was the juice. But a lot of people don't realize the, the set of skills that you have to have to try and play in these types of games because you have to have uh, system administration skills, network administration skills, and attack, you know, computer network attack skills and then you actually have to be really really organized so you've got to break things up so that your team can work together how would you prepare for a ctf okay so if it's a jeopardy style ctf it's pretty much it's pretty much like literally like trying to prepare for the tv show jeopardy i would really try to read everything i could about hacker history a lot of these times they'll ask you questions about famous hackers like Kevin Mitnick, and they'll ask you about really high profile security breaches that have happened, you know, the RSA breach or the, the uh, Experian breach or the OPM breach, you know, they'll ask you about those types of things, really high profile vulnerabilities, uh, lots of stuff on hacker movies like Swordfish and, and War Games and, um, uh, you know, Mr. Robot, you know, they'll ask you all that kind of stuff. What I tell people, skip the programming and protocol stuff. Either you know it or you don't. It's, it's really hard to say, I want to read about protocols to try to prepare for this. I want to read about programming to try to prepare for this. When it's stuff like someone's asking you differences in compilers, 
uh, for different programming languages. You either know that stuff or you don't. For me, when I'm preparing for those types of Jeopardy style CTFs, believe it or not, it's a lot of Wikipedia for me. It really is. Attack and defense style CTFs. These are trickier to prepare for. What I try to tell people is figure out what are the most common operating systems that you think people are going to be using and you want to start downloading patches for them ahead of time. It would not be a bad idea um, if you're thinking that it's going to be Linux repos to set up your own yum or app get repository. Okay you can build your own repository for all these different flavors of Debian, Ubuntu, Red Hat, CentOS. You can build your own repository. And I would definitely recommend that if you're gonna be playing in an attack and defense style game. The reason is because you might have to defend a server, so you may have to be applying patches to a server. You may have to be rolling back patches for a server. So if it were me and I were preparing for uh, that type of game, one of the things I would do would be build my own repository. I think it's a much faster way to prepare for that. The next thing would be to organize all of my own incident response scripts. So like WFT is an example of something that I would download, right? So. WFT is a series of batch files and PowerShell scripts that people use for Windows incident response. If I were preparing for a game, the first thing I would download would be all my ability to install patches, right? I wanna be able to deploy patches quickly. Next thing I wanna be able to do is I wanna be able to perform incident response quickly. So I would download all of my incident response tools. I've organized those so that I could use them quickly. Right, that's the whole goal. Can I use those super, 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 super quickly, right? Like there's a machine that we have to manage. We think it's compromised. Do I have all my tools organized so I can quickly run them against uh, the machine that I'm defending? All right, then the next thing is organize all of your exploitation and post-exploitation tools. If I have a bunch of tools, I know a lot of people just like to use Kali. I like to organize all of my attack scripts and organize all of my defense scripts. So I like to have all my sniffers, my brute forcers organized. I like to have my password list organized. I, have to ha I like to have all my exploits organized because I wanna be able to get to them quickly, 